since we're going down this conspiracy a little bit, let's open to the Britney Spears thing. Ooh, okay, so today I got on Twitter. So if you want to go to our Twitter. Let's get to Twitter. And I saw Britney Spears trending. I was like, oh, what does this bitch do? It's Britney. <laughs> and then um, it's Britney, that's the only woman you can actually call a bitch and get away with it. And so, um, no, I mean. I don't know why I said it. Just, <laughs> <laughs> just go to trending or, or the explore page or whatever. It's, yeah, boom. No, it's going to be Britney Spears. Top. I s- so then, boom. It's, secretly t- it's Britney, bitch. Like, I actually typed that out. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm surprised John didn't say anything. Nah, I didn't want to goddamn not. You don't gotta go to her page. Go to damn. She uses her like tweets. twenty year old photo. Go to her tweets. Not her tweets. Go to back to your search. Yeah, and scroll. Oh, okay. You just want to see the tops that people posted. So, um, there's a Britney. Uh, what is it called? Framing Britney Spears documentary, right? And so, it actually shows a weird dynamic of how. Britney was actually scapegoated for a lot of... Sh- no, I don't want to say scapegoated, but the idea of Britney... So, like, Britney represented, I guess, the hypersexual young teen, da 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 she was underage and da-da, doing all that stuff. So there were actually women who would say, like, oh, I, Britney, I wish you would die. You're a horrible role model for our kids and da 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 But it was kind of framed that way from her record label and, like, the record label just had more to do with it than we actually knew as far as image wise and even uh the hate that she would receive turning it into something that was marketable and so like this one right here the leaving britney alone dude was right all along history will look kindly upon him He's i'm all telling you so about everybody's watching. changed their mind about like britney losing it and they kind of understand now and so the documentary is interesting. I haven't got to see all of it. It's I would, on Hulu. I would suggest you guys try and watch it. It is on Britney Spears. So uh, I'm ten minutes in and I'm already furious. What? <laughs> no, it's it's like pretty bad, dude. Or what? Because like no, because she's she's a puppet the whole time. Yeah, she's she's been completely manipulated by her father. He has like I've the heard that. inheritance, the entire wealth, and stuff like that, and she's locked out of it. And she has to kind of like be a a circus animal mm-hmm. continuously like in Vegas to, to keep her money. It's like she's working a regular job, but like doing hundred times stuff. the amount of work, mm-hmm. even though she has an, a wealth, but her dad locked her out of it from a gecko because he, he signed her up for certain contracts when she was a kid. And so now everybody's coming at Diane Sawyer. And so I don't know if you want to type in her name and there's a clip from an interview that she that she posted and not posted, but it was uh yeah, there you go, boom. And where she's reading some mail that uh yeah, she's reading Check mail. Like yeah, no, nah, there's a video. Oh, it's a, okay. Scroll okay, down, you'll scroll. see it. Okay. There's a uh she's like a woman says, Oh, Brittany, I wish you would die, da 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 and Brittany reacts, she's like, Oh my god, that's horrible. Why would she say those type of things? And Diane Sorrow was like Is this at the interview right here? Diane Sorrow was basically like, Because you're not a role like she oh, it's not the video. She kind of was, like, agreeing with the lady, like, you know, I can understand why. Like, and so a lot of people started looking at a lot of Diane Sawyer's older interviews, like even her one with Whitney Houston. She was like, you're skinny sick. You're, 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 I mean, you're, 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 you're sick skinny. Like, this is not that. good. This is, and, and, and so now we're, oh, Justin Timberlake looked like an asshole in this thing, too. I ain't going to lie, that guy doesn't even look like, he looks like a uh, Puerto Rican in blackface. But think of the age, like I'm like you can't be too mad. <laughs> this guy looked like a straight Puerto Rican in blackface. This guy. What is this? No, this is a Justin Timberlake video. Oh. I don't know why. Well, when I on my Twitter, it popped up immediately. I guess my Twitter's a little bit messy. Oh, I don't know. Man. I think Diane yeah. Sawyer might just Boom. be turning into like a that old lady that just says it how it is because she doesn't care anymore. But she still has a job. No, boom! A, this is exactly a national journalist. This is the exact oh, clip. Oh, she said that? Look. Hold on, let me read this. Let me back up. Really, if I had the opportunity, if and, and you know who that is, right? No, I actually I don't. That was a mayor or it was a politician that said this. What? At the time? Yes. Oh, okay. So she said, this is Kendall and Elric. Mm-hmm. Am I saying that right? Elric? Yeah. Kendall Elric. Really, Ehrlich, if I had Ehrlich. Ehrlich? Yeah. Ehrlich, okay. Really, if I had an opportunity to shoot Britney Spears, I think I would. Oh, wow. Then watch this next part of the, 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 the... That is horrible. That is bad. 
Wh- Wait, you're saying Diane Sawyer agreed with that? Yes. What? I can't hear the the video, so I can't hear. She yeah, I was saying, where's where's the agreement? I mean, if you watch the whole video, but I mean, uh, no, that was the whole video, unless. I mean, I'm talking about the whole interview, interview, but no, literally she she reads the quote and she says, the lady said, uh, if I had the opportunity to shoot Britney Spears and Britney Spears reaction is like, that's horrible. Yeah. And she said, you have to understand you're not a good role model. It's tough being a parent. And she, she rifled off reasons for this lady. I just just heard it's tough being a parent. I was like, but that's not, that's what it is. Not the point. Why are you saying that? Yeah. Like exactly. Anything other than you're right. Or this is like, what else is there? Any, this is not a thing to explain when somebody says, if I could shoot somebody, I would shoot them. Mm-hmm. I also don't think that, like, Britney's gone, like, any deeper as far as, like, contentious pop star. Like, I feel like Madonna surpassed her 10 years before that. Madonna forcing people there to kiss Oprah her. There was an Oprah interview? Yeah, fuck Oprah. Oh, and that's fuck right. Gilpin. They did kiss. Madonna forces a lot of people to kiss. She made Drake kiss her. She, boy, that lady out there. If we trying to talk about female Weinsteins, I'm sure she got some bodies under her belt. Yeah, you want to be one of my background dancers? I'm curious why Justin Timberlake is an asshole, depending on what happened. Because I... I ain't gonna lie. Because uh, at that age, because they were in their 20s, they were in their mid-20s, yeah, I expected love... him to deal with... Because like, that's an intense dynamic that she had then with her father. Her like, dynamic, that's tough. Dynamic. Hey, thanks for watching a clip of Fake Deep Think. And if you like what you heard, be sure to subscribe, like the clip, leave a comment, and check out our page for more content. Full episodes of Fake Deep Thinking are released every Friday on Podbean, iTunes, and Spotify. Peace.